Hello everyone. In this video, we will do some examples for cross products of uh, vectors from R3. Uh, let me start with the first one. Uh, find the cross product of given pairs of vectors. Here, I have two vectors. And we are trying to find the cross product of them. We know that the result is going to be another three, by, uh, three vector in R3. And how do we compute the components? Well, right, uh, this guy, the first one in the first row, the second vector in the second row. And for the first entry, you cover the first column there. The remaining must be a two by two matrix which is in this case negative 1, 1, negative 2, and 1. Find the determinant of that. For the second one, you cover the second column and then find the determinant of the remaining 2 by 2. In this case, it's 1, 1, and 0, 1. There is a minus sign in the second one that you should not forget. Uh, for the third one, um, yes, let me cover this. For the third one, uh, we cover the third column. The remaining is the determinant of 1, negative 1, 0, negative 2. Now, uh, what is the determinant? So you multiply diagonal entries minus multiply off diagonal entries. Oops, must be like that. Uh, the second one of diagonal uh, entries like that times of diagonal and one times negative two minus zero times negative one. Yeah. So this way we have computed all three entries. Let me just simplify. The first one is negative one plus two, which gives me one. The second one is, well, 1 minus 0, which is 1. There is a negative sign. That's negative 1. And uh, the third one is uh, negative 2 minus 0, which will give us negative 2. Okay. Well, the second one. Okay. So first, I'm writing that in terms of 2. Uh, uh, vectors with three components that's the first one the second one there's no i that means that the first component is zero one negative one so let me just put them here two negative three one zero one negative one and here the, the term the first component is we cover the co first column that will give us negative three, oops, negative three, one, one, negative one, minus. The second, the, the, the second entry, you uh, have to remember always this one, that is, is the, the negative of the determinant of two by two matrix when you cover the column two. So that will give us, 2, 1, 0, negative 1. There's this negative sign there. Don't forget that. And uh, for the third one, now I can cover the third column. And that will give us the determinant of 2, negative 3, 0, 1. Yeah. And here is now the determinant 2 by 2 matrix. Negative 3 times negative 1 minus 1 times 1. Uh, minus 2 times negative 1 minus 0 times negative 1 and um, the last one is 2 times 1 uh, minus negative 3 times 0 okay so now that we have all the entries there three the first one is 3 minus uh, 1 which gives me just two the second one is um you see this is zero negative two times another negative sign that's two and the third one is two 
what will happen for the third one? Well, in the third one, we have the same uh, story, but this time we have to first make equivalent vectors to the, um, to the directed line segments. So let me take u to be the equivalent vector to this line segment from that point to that point. So I remember that the equivalent uh, vector is the vector whose component is the components of the end point minus the starting point, which in this case would give us 2, 0, and 2. V, on the other hand, is what well, 0, 1, and 0. These are components of the last uh, end point. Then we have 0 minus 2 minus 0 there. Yes, so this will give me 0, negative 1, and... Uh, oh, I should have written 1 here. Yes, this is um, another thing. So now u cross v is 2, 0, 2 cross 0, negative 1, negative 1. This is, well, you put these things in the rows. And, well, three components. Each one is given by a determinant. You cover the first row. That's give me 2 by 2 matrix that the second one um, cover the second column the determinant of 2 by 2 remaining matrices don't forget to put that negative sign there and uh, for the last one we have that negative sign there uh, sorry the 2 by 2 matrix Two zero zero negative one. Okay. Now here I can compute these ones. Zero times negative one minus two times negative one. That's the first determinant. There's a negative sign out there. Two times negative one minus two times zero. And the last one, two times negative one minus zero times zero. So this way we have uh, the first entry is 2. The second entry is, this is 0, that's a 2 as well. And the last entry, um, it is negative 2. And well, you can write this as IJK notation. So 2 I's plus 2 J's minus 2. So those are the just examples of cross products of vectors in R3.